Hey, Mr. Vintage here, coming to you from the Gilmore Car Museum in Hickory Corners, Michigan. This rates as one of the top 10 car museums in the United States. Today we are at the Vintage Trailer Rally. Airstream is the featured trailer. Uh, we're gonna walk around, meet some people, and check out some cool stuff. All right, check it out. Lots of cool stuff. Here we've got this old Vagabond trailer, beautifully redone. For sale. Hello. Nineteen forty nine Vagabond. Reminds me, my grandma had a trailer like this when I was a kid. Love that GM fridge dare original fridge. All right, got our trailer there in the background. Good stuff. Walking on down the line here. How you guys doing today? Good. Mind if I take a look? Got this beautiful Avion. Looks like a C10. What year trailer or camper is this? It's a 66. Yeah. Mind if I step up and take a look? Where else can you see this many cool old trailers in one spot? Got the big bunk up there. All aluminum construction. just doesn't get any cooler than this. What do we got here today? This is a 1954 Fishcraft Land Cruiser. Okay. They were a kit division. So this was made by Chris Craft. It's like as in boats. As a kit. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Did you redo these yourself? Uh, yep. You do amazing work. Chris Craft kit trailer. We do mostly boats. I mean, we've done the, we've done a, a wagon one time. We got the KO here on the back of the vintage camper special. This is a KO. Would have been same family as Avion. Uh, this would be the same as probably a C11 Avion. Also have the KO motivator. Um, <clears throat> this was the motor home that the KO family built after they sold Avion to Fleetwood back in the early 70s. So if you ever wanted to see inside of a KO motivator, here you go, here's the tour. Little bitty bathroom, but what more do you need? A little wet bath.
This is a C11, a little bit bigger than the C10 Avion that we looked at here a little bit ago. Talked to the gentleman that owned this. He said that this was one of the last three that the KOs built. Uh, manufactured probably about 1976. It was issued to their carpenter as a severance package uh, for him to sell for final payment uh, when the KOs stopped building the uh, pickup campers. And as a result, this was one of three that was built that does not have a serial tag. Uh, that way they did not have to warranty it because they did not sell it as KO themselves. Got a 1958 Airstream Overlander. Lots of cool period correct antiques in here. Got this beautiful General Electric fridge. What kind of trailer we got here today? Okay. What year is it? 1954. 1954 Owasso. Got the same layout my great grandmother's trailer had. And I think that was a new moon.
1962 Shasta. Pardon me. Sorry. Zealand, there's a there's a there's a big place in Zealand. They got a whole bunch of these. I like that. Really? Yeah. Nobody. Oh yeah. I don't know where it is. I know of it. I've never been to it. Like that. Source my own part. This Zealand, yeah. Oh yeah. Zealand, yeah. Real buddy. Oh, I'll tell you what. At the 1947 Spartan Manor. Beautifully restored, pulled by the Diamond T pickup. trailer what do we got here yeah 76 uh, 31 foot awesome 78 sorry 78 excella 31 foot totally renovated totally renovated got that beautiful shine yep everything came out all new everything axle wire bacon and the did you do the work yourself you got a future in this business it's he amazing. Totally guts it. My sister does the remodel. Let me. I don't. Yo, by, by all means. You did okay. Go, I, Ron. I, I, no, I think. I think. You show him because show him where stuff is, Ron. Go. This is amazing, amazing work. Got double fridge, yep. television, Bathroom. double air conditioner. Uh, do you do this professionally, or is this just your business? Well, I own a your, cabinet shop. Okay. So I've got the washer and dryer right here. Right here, washer and dryer. Oh wow. Yep. Mechanical down here. You probably you may be into that a little bit. Oh yeah. So um what kind of floor is this? L V P or it's, uh, it's an F four season. Um, you know, I don't know you probably know, but the three season stuff is not really wise. It comes apart. So Yeah, it doesn't doesn't click as well. Doesn't click as well and it'll expand into bathroom in here. Let's get see. Yeah. Was this originally a curbside bath, or did you no, this was change? Originally rear, yeah. Okay, so you did all of that. Did the whole deal. And did you replace the paneling, or is this the original? Yeah, most of it's original. Wow. Prime, you know, pressure wash, sand, reinstall, urethane primer. So. Wow. Yeah. So we have the microwave here. So we just kept that kind of tight. Awesome. Yeah. So dishwasher. Amazing. So dishwasher, yep. Yeah. So we have an RO back behind here. If you can see the tank, it's way back there. Okay. Yeah. So, and then the stove furnace. It's got a front and back furnace. Okay. Just because we can. And um, and uh, do you do you four season camp with us? Uh, three, you know, we'll go into the fall or we'll go out west, you know, where it gets a little chilly. Do a little skiing? Yeah, uh, you, you know, something, you know, these will open up here. So haven't hooked the lights up yet. Okay. So, you know, these are the full up. Okay. And same thing over there. Yeah. You know, these melamine, I don't know if you, but these are melamine press doors. Yep. So if you, you could use those in your business. Sure. Um, All right. Here we got the Bolus Road Chief being towed by the vintage Packer, Packard, eight cylinder turbocharged, fuel injected, original straight eight. This is considered one of the finest classic 
trailers. Uh, extremely valuable and almost impossible to find in today's world. All right, so now we are walking up on the Red Barns, the rest of the museum. Going to take a look around and check it out. It's one of the best car museums in America. All right, that wraps up our day here at the Gilmore Car Museum. Time to get this old trailer home. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, follow along. Thanks again, and we'll see you back in the shop.